let's begin tonight with the ownership of the disputed Comessa grounds next to the KICC that sparked anger amongst members of parliament who raised a red flag over an alleged plot to defraud the government parastatal of its prime land. The Public Investment Committee that summoned the ministries of lands, the National Lands Commission and the Tourism Ministry directed that a title deed be issued to KICC for ownership of the land within 30 days. Here's Stephen Latour with more. 24th. Now, Waziri, you know, you are giving us so, order. I'm, I'm order. Asking. Order. Order, order, order. The National Assembly's Public Investment Committee, chaired by Pokot South lawmaker David Kosing, and other what members viewed as a scheme to defraud the public of its land at KICC. In its sittings, the committee exposed what it termed underhand dealings that included misleading the president on the privatization of KICC with the aim of handing the prime land within Nairobi's central business district to private entities. That is why, Madam says the question of declaration of interest is fundamental in this way. And that officer that, that has been said and mentioned adversely must step aside. You know that this land has been earmarked both the KICC and the land for privatization. You should also tell us, did any one of you mislead the president? Because for it to go through privatization, you must have done your background check. And I am persuaded that whoever included this as part of the privatization misled the government. There have been correspondences between the National Lands Commission, the city county of Nairobi seeking to redesign and allocate Comesa grounds to private entities, a move the David Kosing led Public Investments Commercial Affairs and Energy Committee considers suspicious. If you are agreeing that there are three persons, come here with three titles. Who are they allocated to? If it is a parking, if it is a hotel, any other ground. The long-running land saga has had renewed attempts to grab the land between Parliament Road, City Hall Way and the Supreme Court building. However, Lands Cabinet Secretary Alice Wahome sought to assure the committee that the land was secure and belonged to the public. A laughing matter. There is an assumption, Madam Sears, in this country that KICC land is gone. The truth of the matter is the land is under risk. There is also an assumption, Madam Sears, father that there might be cartels across board within yourselves, in the ministries, in the departments. And that is why members asked conflict of interest declaration. If there was any uh, monkey business that was being planned, it is not going to go anywhere in respect of this particular matter. According to the National Lands Commission, the parcel of land has never been allocated to any institution and NLC has been waiting for a go-ahead to process the land. The committee accused the Lands Commission of malice. Uh, the KCC building itself, where it stands, without a doubt, is titled and is safe. It is the, the commercial grounds outside that have been unallocated for decades and they, they remain that way. Who is the owner? Because it is agreed that it is public land. That's not a dispute. Who is the owner of the public land? And how can we provide the title? The land is safe. That uh, nothing will happen between now and whatever, because she has to- And one month. And one month. The land, the land is safe in that hand. So that sense of panic is not there. The committee chair ordered an immediate titling of the land back to KICC. Tell them I want the following actions to be done. Allotment letters should be issued to KICC. Well, you're away, it's not your problem. There's somebody else who will work. And then finally, now it comes back to you in terms of titling. So that one man, Madam says, when you're coming here, bring us a title to KICC. No stories. No singing. We know what, why we are saying that, Madam says. If you want to ask us later, we can ask, we can tell you. The Lands Ministry also dismissed claims made by Garden Square Limited that it owns part of the land, insisting the land Garden Square restaurant sits in is public. Stephen Letos, Citizen TV.